Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Revfolio, as I'm going to be calling it from now on, I think. Uh, we're going to jump into a new run, minus five streak, beautiful. We're going to jump in as Dante. I have absolutely no idea what this character does. I remember he was in the first version and he's got some intriguing stuff. Okay, so he's got this little book slam, sort of. If we like shoot and move and then he's got this little fire that trails behind him and i'm fairly sure he's got some mechanics where he can like switch into another character or something along those lines okay let's let's do a hard Ooh. okay so now we're stuck we pop this and there you go okay making more sense now okay so basically as this guy we essentially have to play as two separate characters that are stuck at different parts of the floor. Really interesting. I'm going to restart just because I've taken some really dumb damage really early on. Um, but this is going to be really interesting. Um, I think we most certainly do want the uh, the book of revelation here. Thank you. Yeah, so basically we have two separate characters that we essentially have to like meet. Ooh, we got some sort of status effect on this guy going on there. That was from hitting him with the book. I'm not sure how easy it is to hit enemies with the book, but seemed to apply some sort of status effect. There you go, did it again. It was literally a Bible thumb, I think, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. As for the question of the day today, um, what's a mechanic in gaming in general? that you wish there was more of. I've asked it about Isaac before, but what's just a general mechanic in gaming that you'd really like to see more of? So I think we're gonna have to do this switch. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this switch every single room here. So it's gonna take a little bit longer in general to clear floors, I think, but I'm not complaining, it's really cool. I have disabled some more mods. Unfortunately, it seems like essentially anything that adds content is gonna cause issues. Um, oh. Hey, we've teamed up, and now we are joined at the hip. We're together, and we gain the power of us both. So we really want to try and meet up first. Okay, now this guy is not firing in the direction I would have expected him to. Intriguing. So I wonder if that depends on... Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, we can orientate him by uh, using the active item that we started with. Okay, that's decent. So we want to orientate him this way to look up. And we don't have to utilize him. We do have our own tiers. But it's probably a good idea to because we seem to get a good amount more damage off of using this guy. Also, what the hell's this thing? I will Bible thump your poops. What the hell? Why don't these poops die? What What is this demon? I've not come across this enemy before. It scares me. The unknown is scary. Okay. So, we want to orientate you that way. And, okay, there you go. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Okay, nice. And I wonder if they'll be split up for us when we go to the next floor. Intriguing. The small wood. Ooh, interesting. Um, I guess I'll just take that. Thank you. Ow. Taking some pretty dumb damage here, I'll be honest. It's okay, though. We picked up some HP. I didn't actually get to see how much HP the other guy had. Right, pinking shears is at the ready. Make our way back. But yeah, hopefully disabling some of the content mods, while I will miss them, um, it should hopefully save our frame rate. Um, so we want to make sure this guy's at the front. He is good. Okay, we did we get a few folio boss. We hit him with that, that uh, effect, and as you can see, it did an insane amount of damage. I mean, that plus pinking she is, is just wrecking him right now. We want to try and Bible thump him again if possible. Wow, that was that was a speedy kill on this guy. Very speedy indeed. Okay, we've got a key so we can go through here. We should probably go and check out our shop first, because I never checked that out and we've got the money to spend there. We managed to get a good bit of money off of um meeting up. 
Get out of here. Right, what's this do? Um, half heart damage is now taken at three hearts or below. Um, okay, that's decent. That's decent. And I think we just get out of here now. Okay, definitely a better start than we had on the last episode. Um, definitely feeling a little bit better about that now. But let's uh, let's go down to the glacier. I don't know if my curses are going to carry over. Okay, they they haven't. So of course we have split up again now. Need to be a little careful of that. Now I do wonder, do, does my other guy get any of these items? Do, do they duplicate over to him, or is he, is he comes as he is sort of style? I'm guessing he's comes as he is. Yeah, nice. We'll swap out that. I really like this idea. So we, we definitely always want to try and meet up as soon as possible. It definitely seems like um, we're not gaining the items here, which is scary. I don't know how we gain items for this fella. Oh god, that was a really bad hit there. I'm not exactly sure how we go about making sure this guy is topped up on items. I think that's going to be rather tough. He's a little weak, to be honest. But maybe the whole point is that he's a little weak. So, we don't really know where we're going to meet up. We've got some more of these things here. Uh, I don't know what plus two vanity means. More pranks, plus two vanity. Thinly coated for us in life. Uh, yeah, I until I understand those more thoroughly, I think I'm going to leave them alone. Because they screwed me over big time. Ooh, that was close. Okay, so you, you kind of absorb my shots and throw them back at me, I see. That's fine by me. And we'll switch over again. And we've met up now. Nice. I love that little high five. That's so cute. Right, let's go do the boss right now while I've got thingy, um, thinking she is available. But yeah, we, we definitely want to get a Bible Thump on the boss as soon as possible. Also, another new boss here, because that Bible Thump effect is insane. I don't know exactly what it does, but it, it's good. Whatever it does. We also need to orientate this guy to be actually useful. Thinking she is going wild. Okay, so... How exactly... Can I, can I pick up an item as you? I, can't, I definitely can't pick up an item as him. Maybe if I'm holding this and orientate, no. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I may, be, I may have just seen something there. It, it lit up this in, in orange or yellow, right, as I pick this up. So if I pick this up and then do that. I'm not 100% sure if that works the way I think it did. Either way, let's have a look what we got here. Okay, um, I'm not sure if I want either of these. Uh, we've got two on-hit effects. Taking damage with empty heart containers will remove all empty heart containers and give half a black heart an abyss locust. I don't... That sounds terrible. <laughs> I, I don't know if I understand that right. Either way, I don't think I'm going to take either of those items. There's definitely some slight bugginess going on with the, um, with the, the borders of the boss room there, but it, the mod has just come out like an hour ago. Let's forgive them, shall we? Um, I don't know if I want to do my mirror piece this time. I think this time I'm just going to focus on having a good run. By the way, I will say the FPS is significantly better this time round, so it definitely did help. Um, it's still not perfect, but again, this is a mod that adds a lot to the game, so I wouldn't expect it to be perfect. Is this guy going to charge me? Yes, he is. Taken out. And then we can go and pop this. I'm not sure where we got those three black hearts from. Did we start with those? Maybe we did. I don't remember. Let's get into the fire. Shop. Eh, we probably can't make shop work right now, actually. We just want item room. We've got one key. We'd rather save it for that. Oh, God. I saw those things spawn and then realized this room have already cleared. Okay, no double bomb placements. I'm noticing that. 
Ooh, hello. Thank you very much. An item room, we get Clutch's Curse. Clutch's Curse is certainly a weird one, but I'll try it out and I'll try and give it to my other fella. It stores it in the lantern. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a hundred percent sure what that means for us. But yeah, we can use clutch to blow up some rocks and stuff here and there. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of Skadoodle to the next floor. And we'll see how these uh so in theory, if if what I think has worked, we should get Cube of Me and Clutch's Curse when we're playing as our other guy. Which is pretty good. They're, they're like two decent items. I mean, Q and Meat, not so much. But Clutch's Curse, while it is problematic, you can definitely hurt yourself with it. Which I, I tend to do quite a lot. It can kind of save you. So let's move over to this guy. And that is exactly how it works. Yes. So we're just going to be a little bit wary of Clutch's Curse. Oh, we got um, a mini boss here. I mean, if I can get Pinking Shears on you, you're probably going to die pretty quick. He's just pushing this block of ice around. Okay, so I need to be a little more careful about how I pick up my items. Okay, let's be very careful here. I think Pinking Shears is doing a pretty good job of taking him out, to be honest. We got him. I think it's just taking out the rest of the enemies on the floor now. Hey, and we got latch key for that. We also got a burn heart, which we cannot pick up at the moment. And I, I'm, I was going to say I'm guessing the item as well, but no, we can pick up the item. Not sure why we can't pick up burn hearts. Anyways, we'll teleport to another room. We don't really know where we're going to meet up here. It does seem to split our health in half, which is kind of interesting. Um, I cannot fire currently. I can only Bible thump. I, that is a big ass owl. I don't think it's intentional that I currently cannot fire. I'm not entirely sure why I can currently not fire. Oh God. I mean, I managed to get through the room, okay. <laughs> this guy can't fire either. Okay, now he can. It might be a bug with Clutch's Curse, somehow. Alright, try not to destroy the ice sculpture, because it's just going to release more enemies. Little dumpy fella there. Okay, I think it's a bug to do with Clutch's Curse. We need to be careful about that. I have no idea if we're going the right way at all here. Try and Bible Thump whenever we can. Just gotta try and stay close enough to enemies to Bible Thump them, but not so close that if they die, they'll just hit us straight away. We've got Cuba Meat, eh, uh, not Cuba Meat, the corn thing to protect us there, so. That's good. Another one of these owls. <laughs> I The owls are really cool. I'm going to keep moving this way and hope for the best. Right, I found my item room. I don't actually want to take the item room as this guy anyways, so that's fine. But that probably means we're a distance away. Yeah, this guy keeps jumping over my shots. Please refrain from doing so. Otherwise, Clutch's Curse will get you. Okay, so now I think when we return, we can head back the way we came. Slight bugs going on with the rocks here. I don't know if you can see when we enter the room they're spawning as fiend folio rocks and then being automatically replaced which is a bit weird. But now we meet up again. Huzzah! I'm not sure why we got money last time we met up. It does join our health up which is kind of nice. Converts all rocks and poops into the room into... Okay that's kind of decent. We'll go for that. Right. Move along, ma'am. I'm not sure which room to do it on. Check out item room first, though. So I don't really care who gets this. I'm going to use pinking shears in here. 
unfortunately without a flight, so it wasn't all that useful, actually. Okay, we're both frozen now. Are you... Okay, there you go. I was going to say you're shooting off some fire somewhere for me. That you are. Okay, nice. We got that done. Move you in front of me. I like the way that you play with the two characters. It's interesting. It's not how I'd expect it to be done, but it's cool. Did indeed get a soul heart there. Lovely. Release the fire from you. The clutch is cursed. While it's, it's definitely going to hurt me later down the line, right now I'm really digging it. Good, good, good. And we got our book of revelations ready, which we don't actually need to use right now. Wait, I think this is probably a good room for this, isn't it? Queen of Diamonds. I'm trying to go over here and get the nickel. Yeah, we got we got enough there to make it justified, I think. Right, back up this way. Yeah, we haven't got great items so far, but I think we've got enough to, to get by right now. I also don't know where we got all these blue flies from. I'll accept them. Sure thing, I will, but I'm not sure where they came from. Oh, th that's a turret. That's a turret, okay. Oh, I should not be firing at that guy while he's doing that, should I? Okay. Over towards the boss room, let's go. Yeah, it's probably some sort of stage API bug with the uh, the rocks, most likely. Something along those lines. I'm just taking wild guesses. I don't actually know for sure. We can finally take that burn heart. Rather nice. And we will pinking she as you... You are going to go down rather quick. If I can Bible thump you, you'll go down mega fast. Did get hit for my burn heart there. It's okay. Let's just get these out of the way. We got, um... Frosty but feisty. I think I'm going to take that as you. And then I'll take that as you as well. Why not? Doesn't make much of a difference, I don't think. But there you go. Okay, down to the next floor, or we can bomb through here to go down to this floor, which I definitely want to do. Having a lot of fun so far here. This is very intriguing. We're down to the tomb. We've got this mini boss again. I, de I don't think if we can help it, we should do the mini boss until we've met up, especially when we can't fire again. Thank God we got this Bible thumb. It might be intentional. It just doesn't feel intentional. Like, look, I can't fire, I can't fire, I can't fire. And then watch when Clutch, then Clutch enters me, and now I can fire. It's definitely a Clutch bug. Weird. We're switching actives, I've noticed, too. Like, one character has one active, and then it switches. What's going on here? Oh, these, um, these, uh, sandcastle walls. Like, what, they're just, they're, like, destroyables. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, God, I wasn't expecting that. It seems to be upon entering a floor that bug takes place, so be careful there. Flightless. Flight becomes disabled for this chapter. It's, yeah, it's not really now they work. Like I said, I'm just going to leave them until I know more about them. You guys can let me know in the comments what the hell's going on with them, I'm sure. I messed around with them a bunch in my first episode, so I'm sure you guys will have a lot to say about how badly I messed everything up there. I'm understanding this now. These things are spawners. That's why there's so many of these bomb dudes going around. Okay, we got it. Ooh, look at the item room door here. Okay, so we have unfortunately gone the wrong way here. Whoa, laser eyes. That's really cool. Oh, what the hell? Look at this little dude that we've got flying around with us. These guys are tricky. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but it's open now. Okay, make our way back down this way. Yeah, we've got a little, um, little familiar dude with us. Okay, here's the, here's the mirror room. So we found our way towards our friend. We don't have to fight the, uh... 
We don't have to fight the boss. Careful of that guy. He's got a little soul in him. Oh, god damn. Do I have to deal with the soul on its own, or is it going to try and absorb me? Okay, no, I don't. Right. And we have met up. Great stuff. Okay, now we can do the mini boss here. This guy again. Definitely a better room for him this time, though, by the looks of it. Yeah, look at this little fella. He, like, whacking things and stuff. Oh, I keep forgetting to switch my orientation on this guy. You're gonna climb up on top of those poops, but I'm sure to destroy him, fella. Okay, I think we got him. There you go. We did get an item again. Um, not a great item, albeit, but it's an item. Okay, let's go up to our item room, shall we? This character plays very, very interesting. This character's really got something special about it. I like it a lot. Gain a ch um, charge effect when... Gain charge effect when fully charged fire yellow lasers. I don't really know what that means. I'll take it from that other character again. Gain charge effects. I don't know what gain charge effects refers to. It's probably good. Oh, there was there was something. That was certainly something. A little cactus fellas, look at them go. Fire little tax as well. There's a copper bomb. I'll do this, why not? Let's see if there's anything new going on in here. I'm sure there'll be some fiend folio enemy combinations going on as well around this, these floors. But yeah, if, if it works like this and we were able to play the fiend, fiend folio and this mod, it's going to be nice having the choice of where we want to go. Oh, uh, okay. I can just literally charge it up and then release it. I'm not sure why it says gain charge effects, though. I, I don't know. It might, be just, it might be referring to something that I'm unfamiliar with. I don't know. Trying to just clear out everything here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the um the mirror room for a little bit until I just become more familiar with the mod itself. I think that's wise. Good, good. Right. Boss time. Let's get it. What on earth just happened? I was like, ooh, it's war. No, it's not. <laughs> it's something that ate war. Oh, oh my goodness. This is quite something. The bosses on this mod are um, just insane. They're so cool. Okay, this seems to be the death animation going on here. There's just a lot of stuff going on. Oh, oh it refilled its health. Wow, okay, this guy's tricky. Oh, damn. I was not expecting that. This is a hard boss. Okay, we got the half-chewed pony. Um, pony item grants flight while held when used spawns a friendly submerged ant lion which sucks in and eats nearby enemies. There is a small chance for this ant lion to suck in the player's pony. Instead, after sucking in the pony, the ant lion emerges from the ground and follows the player whilst attacking enemies. The emerged ant lion returns every floor, even if it was killed. Okay. I'll take that over pinking shears just because it seems cool. And then I'm going to give this to you. Right. Okay, then. This is the choice between the other floors, and then this is down to the next one of these. Okay. I'm understanding it now. Unfortunately, we can't fire again, as per. 
Brimstone. That's so cool. Okay, I used my active. It didn't actually do anything. Oh, no, there you go. It spawned the little antlion thing. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. All right, Clutch, please enter me so I can, uh, thank you, fire again. Oh, God. Oh, I walked right into that fire just as the room ended. I, wait, I can't use bombs? Oh, no, there you go. Whoa. Whoopsie. I copper bombed myself. Or whatever type of bomb that was. It might not have been a copper bomb, to be honest. Okay, this guy's doing a little better on the items now. What are you, little helmet fella? Okay. Keep going this way, I guess. Kind of got to be choosy about where we put the ant line thing, don't we? I'm sure it's scary. Doubles the number of held bombs. All held bombs convert into copper bombs. No, thank you. Um, I was really... I, I pressed a button there and I was like, what's going to happen? Okay. It unleashes the sarcophagus. Or sarc sarcophagi? Sarcophagi or sarcophagus? I think it's sarcophagi, but that doesn't sound right. There's not much use for the plural of sarcophagus, is there? Something that I would consider quite rare. Didn't mean to take that pill, but I'll accept it. Right. We have met up again. Huzzah. Okay, let's run around and check for item room, shall we? Oh god. It's been a little dive. Here's the item room indeed. And it's Bargain's Burden. Grants a sack familiar which can be fl flung at enemies. Having more pickups will increase the amount the sack does. Pretty cool. I think I'll keep that to you, normal. Hurt myself there. Amazing. Uh, plus one burn heart. Movement speed is a plot. As a damage multiplier. Whoa. Okay. Um, definitely give that to the guy that flies. Because he's got way more movement speed. Oh, and a speed up. Isn't that good? Okay. Be on our way. Yeah, that's, that's a nice amount of damage we're doing there if we're moving. That's a nice amount of damage we got there. Now, we could just leave this floor, but with it being a new floor with new stuff to see, I'm all about the exploration here. I want to see what the game has to offer. Pop that ant line down. Didn't even matter. Destroyed that room. Not sure what these eggs are going to do. Okay. I, I was like, I'm not sure what these eggs are going to do. Then as the minute that sentence came out my mouth, I was like, they're going to hatch. Of course they're going to hatch. And they hatched. <laughs> oh god, that spawned more enemies. I was going to use the half soul heart to get in my care room, you dingus. Now that charge thing seems sporadic, but very good. Last, last few rooms of this floor, and we'll be on our way. Where's our dude orientated right now? Okay, we're we'll ori orientating towards the boss. I'm not quite sure what the middle guy does. I think he's like a buffer. Also, the sack seems to be a little busted right now. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that thing. Right. 
take on the boss. Who is this? Okay, they seem to be seg uh, segments of one boss. Certainly some cat vibes going on. I can hear hear little cat things going on. That, that enemy there seems to be some sort of cat. It's Guppy. That definitely looks like Guppy to me. I should watch the intros to the bosses. I do apologize for not watching them. So... Interesting. We didn't actually kill the boss. I think fire rate goes to you. This can go to you. Yeah, we didn't actually kill the bosses here. I know there isn't anything beyond this door. But I have to see. Okay. So this looks to be what will be chapter 3 eventually. But chapter 3 isn't isn't ready yet. Jump on down to the next floor. Bandage Baby has appeared. So we are on regular mausoleum here. Maybe a bit of a risk going mausoleum first. Thank you for the soul heart. Oh, can't pick it up. We're limited to six hearts, of course. Do you remember our first room? We are stuck with Book. And we immediately walked into an enemy. But luckily there's another heart for us, so don't worry about it. You had to spawn a hearse, didn't you? I can't damage this guy. Oh god. This enemy's tricky. There's some really high speed herming shots. Okay, we've got flights, this makes this easier. Nice. Okay. Quickly go back and grab the soul heart. Oh, we still can't grab it. Confusing. <laughs> I thought we lost health as this guy, but I guess not. I guess it forgave me. Right. Back through again. Pop that down, why not? Oh my goodness. This guy's health is hurting. This guy's health is taking a beating. Thank you. That makes our life a lot easier. Oh, we can't fire her again. Um, this time it's like a mega buggered though, because we don't have clutch. Um, bomb and hope for the best, I guess. More enemies? Why? Oh, it teleported me directly into my own bomb. Are you kidding me? I'm not sure when to, to, to change into the other character to make sure that doesn't happen. I'm not sure if there is a perfect timing to it or not. I just kind of stood there and took that one. Just got bitch slapped for the fun of it. How does that laser not pierce through? Okay, it's taking quite a bit of damage here. Okay, we can fire her again. Huzzah. Book enemy. He leaves his pages on the ground. I think some of these are new enemies from um, Revelations, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that, but they're enemies I definitely haven't seen before, so I'm going to assume. Hey, I thought this was the way. Oh, we buggered it again! 
clutch. Why do you keep breaking things? Just use this thing. Come over here. Get get in this. It can deal damage to you, so please step inside it. We don't have the book as this character. We have no way of dealing damage. Pince, pince, pince. I do have bombs, but I don't have to use them all. I might need them later on if this happens again. I just don't know, like, what the timing is to avoid it. Is it while the clutch is in us or while he's not in us? Okay, that's one dead. Oh, stop taking off. <laughs> this is going to take forever. I walked right into that one. Holy heck. We did it. Oopsie, I used that twice. Huzzah, we have met up. Clutch can no longer screw us. It's funny that you keep screwing us though. Right, I think we just go straight for the boss on this. Oh, we, we, we do actually go, need to go to item room. I forgot we haven't been there yet. I forgot we hadn't actually been to the item room. Oh, for... Well, we'll definitely take a soul of Kane here. And I'll take that as well. Right, I don't know where I'm going to use the soul of Kane, so... Don't hurry me on that decision. I have absolutely no idea. But there's a few good places we could use it. There is the rest of the mausoleum if we want to do that, but honestly, I think we just we just go. Red door there, red door there, red door there. This is definitely the room. We got an angel deal. Which has the battle axe and glyph of balance. I think we definitely take the battle axe for this one. Um, we opened up another red door behind it, what the hell? Um, yeah, I think we take the battle axe. And I think we take it for non-Bible Thumpy Boy, so he has a way of killing things. Um, is this bugged? I opened up a red room. And it's opening into a lot more red rooms. I'm not sure if that's the way this is meant to work. Okay, I'm just breaching into the um into the, the other mausoleum. That's all. They've just conjoined up to one another. Yeah, I'm liking the axe. Right, anyways. Actually carry on with what we were doing. Which was leaving this darned place. Boss time. So surprising this this isn't the next part of the floor. These are gonna be long runs if we go to the alt path. The old alt path. You should be pretty pretty dead pretty quick. I want a Bible thump you. I am trying, trust me. Okay, you're dead. Beautiful. You go down. Um, we'll take that for you. Doesn't matter who takes this. Spawn of restock machines, decent here. Especially with a devil deal in front of us. Um, Imp Soda we'll give to the other guy. And then this, I think we'll try and reroll into something beautiful. The mark's pretty good. I'll take the mark. Okay. And away we go. So far, having a hell of a lot of fun with this character. Very, very intriguing to me. Very intriguing indeed. 
really is just something very unique and different. Right, let's try and actually, like, do right by Clutch this time. Right. Clutch, I'm going to wait for you, and I'm going to fire you, and then I'm going to pop this. Okay, that doesn't bug out. Okay, so let's make sure to do that every time. Oh, our health on this guy is not good. Okay, not having mapping is, is weird as this setup. I do not like that. Right, Clutch. Waiting on you, my brother. And boom. And then we leave. I don't know which way I have been and haven't been. <laughs> this is confusing. You've gone to a dead end. Ow. These guys are strange. Getting hurt a lot right now. Mysterious gift could be good. We'll come back for that, I think. You went the wrong way. Now we go down. This could be the right way. Oh, fuck. I do not like the idea of this room right here. I'm very confused about what's going on in this room right now. I just want the red key. Soul hearts are plenty. I like that. Okay, we already came from this way. <laughs> Oh, we can't fire again. Bugger it. Bugger it up. Flies, please. Thank you. Thank you. Wrong way again. Told you map it and not having mapping would be a problem. Stick throw a dude. Right, Clutch, are you inside me? You are. I don't know where I have and haven't been. This is so confusing. Oh, we met up. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're golden. Right. Um, I think shop is below us. We don't need that yet. Actually, we need to find a secret room first for that to be valuable, really, so... Right, let's find the way out of this hellscape, because so far this is not going great for us. Oh, I'm loving the tunage that's been made by sh shooting at that guy's uh, shell. We're very strong right now. But the health of our other dude, also our corn buddy leveled up apparently. Yeah, I have absolutely... I, I just... I despise not having mapping. Like, I'm just going to aimlessly wander for ages, constantly going back and forward to ways that I've already been. And it's just going to take me forever to find that one way that I haven't checked. Okay, it's, it's, it's got to be this way. I'll say that and it won't be. Soul Heart there's lovely. Excuse me, what is this guy? Oh, bugger. They did not that did not go the way I thought it would. Item room. I will take that as the other dude, I think. Like, how is this another dead end? This is a dead end as well. How? <laughs> I've been everywhere. Which way haven't I been? It's just BS. I hate not having mapping. Must be this way. Nope, I've been this way. Must be up from here then. 
I've been this way. Must be down then. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Because this is where the other character spawns, so of course it's this way. Good, good. I can take that, I can grab that, and then use... Use that? Bandage binder, nice. Right, down we go. This is, this is going to be a very long run. It do look that way. Seems like both characters are pretty strong now, though, which is good. Right, clutch. Get inside me. Fire off and go. Oh my god, the crits. I'm so glad I gave the crits to this guy. And eyesores as well. I think both giving the crits and eyesores to that guy was the right decision. It's okay, it's okay. Some cod worms have spawned. That's also fine. Just a little worried about my health right now. But let's not be too, let's not worry about that too much. Get my ant worm dude. It, it, the ant worm thing isn't that good. I think pink and cheers would have been better, but it's new. I have to try it. What up, brain box? This thing ain't dying, goddamn. Ages. We're looking for a large box room. This guy's just having to do all the big rooms on his own. <laughs> this is kind of mean. Yeah, th this character, he is, he is crazy. He does so much damage. I think he has piercing as well from something. I'm not quite sure where. What happens if I bomb out of a room with this guy? Looks like I'm going to be doing pretty much everything with the other character here. He's going to be making almost the entire journey himself. At least if we find the starting room, then we can just trail back. Really scared of getting hit in this room. I know it's coming. Oh my god, we did it. Teleport the monolith. Places a monolith at Isaac's feet. Triples tears when they pass through. That's very cool. Um, Sounds kind of hard to use. But I've got to try it because it's new. Whoopsie. Oh, I knew I was going to get hit there. But remember that we uh, we get the Polaroid effect at this, at this amount of her, um, hearts. Activates a bit earlier because of that roll of film item, whatever it was called, we got. That's what it looked like, at least. Okay. You lot are pretty much taken care of. Good, good. Let's try the monolith here. That was a bad idea. <laughs> the game does not, not like that. The game is not a fan of monolith, plus this character. I don't even know why I tried it again. I'm definitely going to crash my game. Yeah, okay. So we tried it. <laughs> we certainly tried it. We shan't be doing that again, though. That is a bad idea. Ah! You puked out a little fetus. 
But Peep Count Fetus. Damn it, we just keep going the wrong way with every character. Played so much on the floor with this dude. Okay, we finally we finally met up. Took us long enough. Okay. Head back this way. That took a while to meet up. We've also got two clutches here for some reason. But we got there in the end. We can also double pop the batteries here. Uh, whereabouts is he? Wait. Where is he? <laughs> I'm confused. Where's my buddy? Um... Where is he? <laughs> I'm confused. There he is. Okay, that was confusing. Right, let's get out of here. Monolith, I'm sorry, but you 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 are illegal. <laughs> you will crash the game if I use you, so you get a no go from us right now. We are demolishing right now. This run is quite spicy. I like it. I like it a lot. Right, Devil deal again. I think I'm just going to take this back over Monolith. Because um, <laughs> right now the Monolith is uh, very cool. But doesn't quite work so well with, uh, with the Broom Sweep attack. Ah, oh, I got cast the Lost again. Heck's sake. Didn't spawn us next to the boss this time either. Place you down there, why not? Yeah, that zappy zappy attack seems to be good. I still don't really get how it charges. That's a lot of bombs, sir. Holy. My goodness, that's a lot of bombs. My god, they're spawning. Whoa. I have entered the wrong room. What the hell happened there? I think he blew the doors open and I accidentally walked through. Go, crits, go. I love the music on this floor so much. It's so damn good. Back through again. Ooh. Strange graphical bug there. Not quite sure what that was about. Okay, this guy doesn't have coming down effects for some reason. Not sure why he wasn't affected by the coming down mod there. And there certainly should have been. I went this way. You go this way. Oh! Oh! I almost made an amazing dodge there and I messed it up. Little squid thing that makes us high. Okay, we have found each other. We're having to redo this room as this character now, but honestly, I think this guy's probably more well-suited for it with the crits and that. So many bombs. Do the crits do knockback as well? They seem to knock back enemies like crazy. Or is that just, we just have knockback in general? 
These guys seem really tanky. Not so immune to my bombs, are you, fella? Right. We have actually met up now because if we go back the way we came, which I think is this way, then this way, then this way? Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. And then we don't actually know where the boss is right now, do we? We're a bit unclear on that. They didn't spawn us next to the boss. So I'm going to just travel in whatever direction I like and hope for the best. Okay. Clutch, don't ruin this for us, please. I can't believe the amount of damage we can get from the movement speed we've got right now. I'm, I don't know if it's because we're playing as two characters, so it's compounding the speed. It might be something to do with that. I also like the dynamics of, like, you split up your items between two characters, and that means you can kind of split up the synergies, but then when you regain the two, when you, like, bring them back together, the synergies start working. I think that's pretty cool. It's a very unique way of doing a two-character, like, if you compare it to, like, uh, Tainted Lazarus or uh, Jacob and Izao, it's it's very different. It's not, it's not the same as either of those. It's, it's, it's very unique. But it's own style. Which I really appreciate. We should, this should be, I was going to say this should be the way to the boss, but... It's, it's the way to a boss, just not the right boss. Right, you are going down fairly quick, my good sir. Crit's got you. Angel item? Ah. Just the soul heart. Soul heart's good enough for me. Right. Are we heading in the right direction? Just kind of stood there and took that, didn't I? Well, we're not heading in the right direction so far because that's a dead end. Again, I just, I can't fathom how I take so many wrong turns. Like, how is this a dead end as well? Like, where haven't we been? <laughs> up. We've been up. Up. Down. Up. Ow, thanks, Clutch. No. Oh, here we go, here we go. We find our way eventually. Okay, at least we're keeping our health topped off with Book of Revelations. That has helped immensely on this run. Okay, Isaac, you're probably going to go down fairly quickly here, so I just accept your fate now. Oh shit, my, uh, my dude isn't looking the right way. No wonder you're not being demolished as quickly as I expected. Why is everything so slowing down? Slowing you. And you're dead. Good stuff. I really hope that little familiar um, famine there that's throwing the ice cubes has a synergy with Cube Baby. Because if he doesn't, that's just depressing. We got Tech Zero is going to be insane. This guy's decent. This guy's decent. Then we got Abel, which with another mod it is buffed, but I can't use that mod at the minute because it overlaps with the current new patch. I probably should have taken Tech Zero as the other guy, but oh well. He's pretty good as this guy. Right. So we at least know where the boss is this time, that's good. Oh, we've bug we've buggered it again. It's okay though, we have bombs. We can fix everything with bombs. Alright, I think it's straight down here. Crabs! There's a crab in this room. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there either. 
What the hell's going on with this room? There's a lot. There's a lot of diddy little flies. Clutch, do your thing. I'm waiting on you. What hit me then? I'm not entirely sure. I think it was one of these stone flies throwing stuff in the air. Rubber baby 2.0, why not? Um, we have an invisible boss here. We have an invisible boss. I'm not sure what that's about. Strange. Cardboard robot. When used, gives the player a cardboard robot suit for a short time. The player fires the, um, a large amount of short-range lasers. The suit absorbs damage, but decreases the amount of time in the suit. Clearing rooms increases the armor's time. Sounds pretty cool. I'll give it a go. Why not? Oh, I buggered it again! Why do I keep doing this? It's a really bad room for it as well. We've also got what seems to be more invisible bosses. Not not super jazzed about the invisible bosses. Not quite sure what's causing that. Oh god, walk right into one of them then. I think I've got to use Rubber Baby 2.0 to clear this room out, wherever he's decided to uh, reside. There he is. Could take some time, but I don't use all my bombs in case I bugger it again. We've, we've created quite the challenge for ourselves here. Okay, we got him both. Good. We have met up once more. Good. Right, we know where the boss is. Let's put on this cardboard robot suit thingy and see how that works out. That sounds interesting. It also can absorb some hits for us, which sounds pretty nice. Right, first of all, pop that down and then... Hey, there you go. Look at this. Okay, they are some short range lasers, gotta be careful. But this is really cool though. It's like a off brand Mega Mush. <laughs> Anyways, that's our first win on the new Revelations mod. I hope you guys did enjoy, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.